If you want to be more efficient and effective while experiencing more inner peace, then working on the core of your issues instead of putting on a Band-Aid is vital. Welcome to Life Fix University Podcast. I'm your host, SD Grafford, and here to help you improve your 28 cognitive functions, the 28 things that make up thinking. In each episode, we'll discuss a real life challenge, why you might be struggling with it, and give you practical strategies so all areas of your life will improve. No matter your age, no matter your background, no matter your challenges, you've got two mindsets. The question is, which one do you lean more towards? That's what's coming up next on the Life Fix University podcast, episode 379. But first, you've heard of IQ and EQ, but have you heard of RQ? Relational intelligence is just as important as emotional intelligence. Yet, for some reason, most people haven't heard about it. So I've teamed up with Dr. Tiffany Farag to put together 11 ways for you to improve your RQ, your relational intelligence. Grab a copy for free at lifepixuniversity.com forward slash RQ. For today's real life challenge, imagine the hole you have booked six months ago for your upcoming event just canceled on you. Invitations are already printed and there's not much time left. You've got a challenge, a tough one. What path are you headed towards? You see, according to Carol Dweck, a psychologist at Stanford University, we have two mindsets, a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. A fixed mindset is when we think the way we are is the way we'll stay forever. And a growth mindset is when we're continually growing and learning new things. We each have both a fixed and a growth mindset. If you think of something you're good at, the only reason you became good at it is because you kept on learning. You didn't give up when it got hard. You took criticism, feedback, practice, experimenting, courses, coaches, whatever you needed to get there. Now think about something that you're not good at. What do you tell yourself? How do you approach it? I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. I'm not able to do this. So many of us are good at learning. We enjoy it, always reading, listening to podcasts, taking courses, etc. But my question is to you, what do you do when you're faced with a challenge? Does your growth mindset continue then? When the whole cancels on you last minute, your flight gets delayed, your kid wakes up sick, a launch fails real bad, you don't have enough money for payroll. What do you do? The mindset you lead towards at times of challenge is a stronger mindset inside you. Here are three ways to begin improving your growth mindset in times of challenge. The first way, the simplest way, the one that everyone needs to do always is watch what you are saying. The language you use has a massive effect on your actions. I can't do this. I'll never be able to figure this out. Our event is ruined, etc. We'll only make that happen. Switching to, we'll figure this out. It's going to be different than we expected, but we'll make it happen is all you need to start getting the wheels in your brain turning to come up with creative solutions. Number two, on a similar note, Watch who you are blaming. Many times when we're faced with challenges, we start blaming ourselves or the people around us. I should have booked a backup. We should have taken an earlier flight. You should have gone to bed earlier. Should have, could have, would have, but didn't. Blaming you or others is not going to help the situation. With a growth mindset, you recognize mistakes happen, challenges are many times out of our control, and instead of dwelling on it, you move forward to help you get out of it. So tip number three is take one action to move you in the right direction. Many times when a challenge hits us in the face, we freeze, we cry, we get stuck in the mud. By taking a tiny step of action, you're moving away from a fixed mindset and towards a growth mindset and will help propel you towards a growth mindset. today's episode, we discuss the difference between a fixed and growth mindset and three ways for you to develop your growth mindset when you're facing a challenge. Number one, change your language. 
Number two, stop the blame game. And number three, take one step of action. Your challenge this week is to notice when you're falling into a fixed mindset and do one of the three things we've mentioned to help you move you towards the right direction. Have an awesome rest of your day and crush those challenges. That's all for this episode of the Life Fix University podcast. If you enjoyed it, please share it with two of your family and friends so they too can gain from it and you'll be helping us reach our goal of 1 million downloads by the end of 2025. Have an awesome rest of your day and grow those dendrites.